when I was in the kind of that era where I was training hit and I was following Mensa and Dorian Yates and things like that too, another big training philosophy or a style of training was DC training was very popular back then too. Many people don't even talk about it today anymore, but this is even way before when I started training back in like 2007 to 2009 he had a cult following in, in that community. He didn't necessarily train hit style. And he actually didn't want to be associated with men's and hit because he thought that, that was a little bit too excessive. But the whole philosophy around his training style was, you know, one set to failure rest clause training. And it produced a lot of massive bodybuilders. So you can't argue with the results. But the reason I brought that up and the one thing I wanted to point out is many of those guys that built their physique using that style of training are still around today, but none of them still train that way because- it's not a system that can realistically be run for, you know, 10, 20 years. You know, maybe if you run it during your early years of training and you do build the majority of your muscle mass in doing so, eventually all those guys have adapted to another style of training. Two of the main bodybuilders back then that were very known for using it were Justin Harris and Steve Kuklo, very successful bodybuilders. Eventually, you know, they built their physique using that system. Then they went on to more traditional styles of training. Most of the guys I found that, that do, whether it's that style of training or it is Mike Metzger's hit or any other style of training, eventually down the line, I found that they've all kind of shied away from it eventually. Not to say that it wasn't effective when they did it, but understanding that, like I said, there is kind of an expiration date on that style of training. So when you're progressing volume, let's say every single week, so you're adding sets, but you're also progressing the RPE or training closer to failure at the same time, you're kind of burning the candle at both ends. Just simply adding in sets week after week, where let's say you keep the intensity the same. So let's say your average set is one to two reps shy of failure. Week one, you're doing 10 sets. Let's just say.